today I'm going to be searching for the rarest Evolving Skies cards ever made. And these cards are so rare that they were never meant to be released like this. But the crazy thing is, you can actually pull these cards from regular Evolving Skies booster packs. How can I possibly be so sure that we have a chance to pull these cards though? Check out this video where we discovered one of them. Whoa. Oh my god, what the? No way! Oh my god! So here's the card that you just saw get pulled by my daughter Amelia. Absolutely insane. Miscut cards like these can be worth hundreds, some even up to thousands. And this is probably one of the most sought after because you have the alternate artwork Glaceon on here. And then underneath there, you can see part of the rainbow. Um, that is actually, I identified it as the Garbodor. So these are absolutely insane to pull. So right here, I have 100 booster packs of Evolving Skies. These were put away to the side in a bin. And one of the packs in there was the one that my daughter opened up the other day. I think if any Evolving Skies pack have a shot at pulling more of these cards, it's going to be these 100 right here. So let's see if we can pull some miscuts. And really quickly, I wanted to let you guys know that I have one Evolving Skies booster box that I want to give away to one lucky winner here in the Poke Cave. Ten to the giveaway, just number Number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, down below in the comment section, do you guys think that we're going to pull any miscuts today? Also, let me know what you guys think of miscuts. I, I I just absolutely love them. I think it's the coolest thing to find cards that were not meant to be like put out that way, get pulled out of booster packs. So, hoping. Oh. Nice, we got a Neuvern, ugh, Neuvern V to start it off here. But yeah, hoping to pull another um, miscut out of here. I think it would be insane. Um, just, I don't know, just finding error cards, I feel it's, it's just one of the coolest things. Copycat, Raichu, regular hollow. All right, let's keep it going. Pack number three, can we do it? Um, so what I've noticed is it's pretty much going to be the secret rare cards, either rainbows or the alternate artwork cards. We got a Dialga, regular hollow. And that's kind of what I found when I did a stream one time, if you guys remember that from... Oh, it's probably like a year ago, I want to say, where I just had these booster box cases and there were so many of these miscuts coming out of them. But I think these 100 packs are probably from those uh, cases. So there's not many left. I think this might be it. Rayquaza V, regular V card. We got hits out of every single pack so far. Now, the cool thing is with Evolving Skies is even if we don't actually pull um like a miscut today there's so many good cards that we could pull out of this set it's actually kind of insane crustal how do we keep getting hits that's like six in a row arctivish v card but i honestly i really think we have a shot here i really think we have a shot here um if we could just get a, maybe just one would be amazing love this c dot slack off but it's always also open evolving skies one of the best sword shield sets how do i keep getting hits though is the question literally like seven in a row here all right wait this is a green code card right there are other ones with green code cards down there that... Wait. What is happening? Those were green code... Okay, that has nothing in it. But there definitely were green code cards that I just pulled that had hits. All right, I don't know. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh, so, Evolving Skies right now, the packs are... They're like $5 a pop online. So, this is actually like a $500 opening. This is kind of crazy. Drowsy, non-hollow out of that one. But we're kind of going lightning speed here because we got 100 booster packs. And we just want to see if we can do this. Um, again, this is probably like the last of like these error sort of pack things tropius it's one thing to get miscuts on some of the non hollows like commons uncommons you know regular hollows even regular v cards but when you have like these packs that are literally the top of the top cards like the alternate artworks some of the best cards you could get i don't know what i'm doing um it gets even crazier okay i don't think there's anything in that one come on i want to see a crazy alternate could you imagine oh my god if we got the rayquaza as a miscut like as the alternate Arwick Rayquaza or even like the Umbreon or something crazy. Dude, let's go. Come on, can we do it? Regular hollow on that. But honestly, that Glaceon that Amelia pulled is the fourth most valuable card in the set. Like, it's worth 125 raw just for a normal copy. That was a miscut, so I can't even imagine what that thing's actually worth. Of course, that's staying right in her collection, so it's, but it's just kind of crazy to know that she pulled that thing. I think, I guess that's the biggest card she's pulled. She has pulled the Alternate Armor Grey Quasi V Max. She has the best luck with Evolving Skies. She pulled the Alternate Armor Grey Quasi V Max. I've never pulled that. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, ready? It looks like we got something nice here. What is it going to be? Ooh, Joltiav V. Full art hit. Evolving Skies, man. One of the best sets from uh, Sword and Shield. Easily. Joltiav V. 
coming in hot. All right, so that's going to be our biggest pull so far, but we could do a lot better than that. All right, here we go. Eevee, cutie fly, hit my chin. Raichu, what's up with all the Raichu hollows? So many Raichus. I feel like we pulled like three or four Raichu hollows today. Okay, let's go. Bergmite, drowsy, scraggy. Hopip, Talon Flame. Now we're not gonna we're not gonna know until we hit like a um, a secret rare, like a rainbow or an alternate artwork. We're not gonna really know what's happening until we hit one of those. Code card. And yeah, these are all from booster boxes. Um, I don't know. I think they were like left over because I had them in a bin under a table that I hadn't seen in so long. And my kids found it. They're like, can we open up some of these? Like, sure, you can open up a handful of them. But I think these were leftovers from when I was doing the Evolving Skies stream, trying to complete the binder set. And that's when I was pulling out those miscuts. Um, so, like, these are the packs. I mean, I, there was one in one of these already. So these are the packs. If we can, if we can get them, they're going to be hopefully in one of these. It's kind of crazy, though, because... So, yeah, I get my stuff distribution, and it's, like, from a distributor. And this, I guess just, like, the small, like whatever amount that I had on a certain part of like that shipment had the the sheet of like a Bobby Sky's ultra rares that were cut incorrectly but that's ah, it's crazy I was trying I was trying to figure it out trying to narrow it down but it was so hard because there were some cases of them that didn't have them at all and then there was like like a handful that had them slacking regular hollow I know there was some fusion strike booster boxes that had an insane amount of secret rares and full arts like put into them by accident um, but like this, I think this is pretty cool, the Miscuts. We got, oh, a Lycanroc VMAX. All right, so we got two more on our first stack. Green code card in this one, but I have seen some that I hit. Nope, not that. Man, I think my daughter's just super lucky, I gotta say. Like, I think she only opened up one one or two packs of Evolving Skies. Uh, it's, right. Tropius and Entei. All right, moving into our second pack of Evolving Skies. Let's kick it up another level here and see if we can get something crazy. Pikachu, C dot. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god! The Rayquaza V! <laughs> that is insane! We actually just pulled this card. Oh my god. Dude, dude, that is nuts. See, that's what I'm talking about. We didn't get a miscut yet, but like, pulling in one of the top cards from this set easily. A top 10. The Rayquaza V alternate artwork. It's not the VMAX version, which I still have never pulled. It's the only card that I've actually never pulled, but this card is easily one of the best. So it's definitely not a miscut, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to see any today. Woo, start off that second pile of packs. All right, man. Yeah, you can't really beat a, you can't beat a big Evolving Skies opening. Like, it's just... It's one of those sets where it's like, it's, it's just really good. It's regular hollow. All right, let's keep it rolling here. Yeah, it's like, you think about Sword and Shield, Evolving Skies, man. That's, that's probably my number one or number two set from Sword and Shield era here. Sylveon V, not bad. All right, we're still rolling here. Having fun either way, whether we pull them or not. I, I, I really do think we have a good chance at pulling one. But whether we pull or not, I think we're going to be having a good time. We got regular, non-hollow. All right. You can see the packs in the background slowly getting lower and lower here. Oh, my God. I see something again. I got to stop opening the packs like these. This. Oh, Dragon Salt V. I said these. I meant to say this. Like this. Okay. Because you guys can see, like, on the corner, it's, like, peeking out a little bit. We got Dragon Salt V full art. Woo. Man. Man. I kind of feel like doing another live stream of Evolving Skies, doing a big opening. What do you guys think? I miss, you know, like, I miss doing the really big uh, live stream openings. Not going to lie. You know, I don't miss doing them every single day, like, 8 to 10 hours a day, which we were doing for a while there. That was a little that was a little too much. But, like, one, you know, once in a while, like, once or twice a month, do a long stream. Leafeon V. Well, actually, if I do a really long one, the next one coming up has to be Astral Radiance because I still haven't done that. But also, Pokemon Go, which is going to be coming out. I don't know if it's even out by the time you guys see this video or what. But that's definitely a priority. Flapple. I will 100% be doing a binder collection live stream for Pokemon Go. I mean, without question. That one's definitely, like, a lot. Um, I don't want to say easy, but it's more reasonable than doing, like, Astral Radiance, which probably would take 12 hours. I'll probably need to do it. I don't know if I would get it all in one stream. Lycanroc V. I don't know. Evolving Skies, big stream would be fun. All right. We're almost, we're sort of almost halfway. We're getting closer. Um, still haven't seen a miscut. That's fine though. I still have, um, I still got hope, you know, 
I still feel like we can do it. Tentacool. Bag on. Love the sea dot. Wishy washy. Fun though. It's fun opening Evolving Skies. I will say it doesn't have the best pull rates. I mean, obviously, compared to like Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance. <laughs> but when you get the hits, they're nice. We got an Umbreon regular V card. Man, that's probably the best regular V. In my opinion, anyway. I love that one. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Still moving. That Umbreon's actually pretty cheap. It's only $2. It's a regular V, but it's a nice one. Lava Fett, non hollow. All right, all right, all right. 100 booster packs of Evolving Skies here. The hunt for the miscut. Oh! Oh my god, I, was, I like went way past it. So we do have a Rayquaza VMAX Rainbow. It's not gonna be the miscut, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet because I have seen when we were opening them up before, we had some that were miscut, some not. Still have hope, but dang, we're getting the Rayquazas today. <laughs> that is amazing. Like, what, what are the odds we keep getting as our like secret rares Rayquazas. Another card that's ba like almost a top 10 card in this set, I feel like, which is crazy. And yeah, just double checking it. It's definitely off center left to right. Nothing like like miscut or even OC grade. That's all right. We got a cool card though. Let's keep going. Let's follow it up. I see a green and white code card in this one. Let's follow it up. Let's follow it up. Ooh, Trevenant VMAX. All right. Man, so many good artworks in this set. It's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of a ridiculous set. Litleo, non hollow on that one. All right, next booster pack here. That's a green code card. That is a green code card, nothing in that one. Hopefully I'm going at a decent pace for you guys here. I don't wanna go too slow. I don't wanna go too quick though, but we had a hundred packs here, so. Hitmonchan, Zapdos. Apparently my daughter is just the luckiest person, I guess, with opening up packs. She, she always does it. She'll open up just a couple packs. Boom, pull a crazy card, Sharpedo. And then we're over here opening up like a thousand Evolving Skies pack. I think it was like 2,000 Evolving Skies. Could not pull that Rayquaza alternate artwork VMAX. She, I think she opened it. Her first ever pack of Evolving Skies. <laughs> Nothing in that one. All right, we're coming down to almost halfway there. We do have two secret rares that we pulled. Two, I mean, really nice Rayquaza cards that we pulled. They didn't see miscut action on those, but that's all right. I still think I still I still think it's possible. And Ampharos. All right, the final 50 booster packs. Let's get it going. Or roughly 50 left. I don't know the exact amount. Articuno. Come on. I think it's about time we got another secret rare. Green and white code card. Feeling good about this one. Mareep. Mmm, Hydreigon. Come on! We need an evolution miscut card. I can feel it. I can feel it. C dot. That's a talent flame. Still moving! We don't give up. Wobba Fett, Hop Ip, Swablu. Oh, Thievil. I feel like this is the toughest set to, to when you ask somebody, what is your favorite card in this set? To answer. There's so many good cards in this set. It's insane. Like, it's, it might, it's, 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 it's just too difficult. There's just too many good artworks. Too many amazing artworks. Um, and a lot of the cards, most of those hold their value to this day, which is crazy. Like that Umbreon VMAX. The Umbreon VMAX Ultra Artwork is $320 raw. That's the market price on it right now. Ridiculous. That's ungraded from a pack. Swablu. Eevee. But yeah, we might have to do another big stream of this. Ooh, Volcarona V. Before the packs get any more expensive. I mean, unless they're going to reprint it. They sort of did a preprint, but it's like, I think you can only get it on Pokemon Center as ETBs. I think, I feel like they might do a re, uh, it's hard to say. I feel like they might do a reprint on this set. That would be amazing. Like anytime they do a big reprint on something, that's my cue to like go in and start opening up packs while they get, you know, while they're cheap. That's, that's probably the best way to go about it. Ooh, Jolteon VMAX. All right, Jolteon. I think we had, we had the Jolteon full art today too, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, we're getting lower and lower on packs. I just can't believe she literally picked that out of this bin. Like one or two packs. Had it had the miscut. Um so like I don't know. She picked the right one, I guess. Alright, here we go. Keep moving, keep moving. Flapple the apple. Gotta be one more. Gotta be one more in here. What do we got? Golork V. We're getting closer. 
Nothing. Gotta have faith. Gotta, gotta have the heart of the cards. Wrong TCG, but we can still use it. Heart of the cards, baby. Heart of the cards, baby. Woobat. Lily up. Blip, blip, blip. Nothing. All right. I feel like this is like one of those long live streams, but it's not live. <laughs> Almost at the 75% mark here. Scraggy, bag on Woobat. Psyduck. Gigalith. Not what we want. That is not what we want. Psyduck. Oh, Mars Shadow. But yeah, check it out. I mean, the pull rate, right? It's tough. Once you go to Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, you see the pull rates on there with that subset. Yeah. Tough. It is tough without one of those. All right, two more. Then we'll get to roughly 75 packs in. We got two Secret Rares non-miscuts. Will we get one? Here we go. Love this. Fletchling. Oh, no. All right, guys. Don't give up on me yet. This is our last stack of roughly 25 booster pack. That's a green code card. Bad sign. Oh, no. Our packs are dwindling away. Next one. Altaria. All right. Well, on the bright side, Amelia pulled one. <laughs> so that's awesome. And I have pulled a bunch with that one time. But I want to pull one today. I want to pull one today. I want to make this video worth your guys' time watching. Glaceon, regular V card. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's hard to pull secret rares. It's hard to pull secret rares. <laughs> Only two. I mean, two really nice ones, honestly, but there's a lot of nice cards in this set, so the odds are you're going to pull a nice one when you do pull the secret rare. Well, I mean, yeah, higher odds anyway than most sets. They're pretty much all sets, let's be honest. Come on. So we can be forgot you were in the set. Not gonna lie, completely forgot that you were a V card in the set. Okay. Having fun. This is a good excuse to open up a bunch of this set anyway. Sharpedo. You know, I'm like, what, what can I? What can we do to be able to open up more evolving skies? This is. This was the answer. Litlia. Flapple. Oh, not many left. Maybe 20 or so left. Still a decent shot. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's the Gyarados, another secret rare rainbow, but it is not the miscut. It is not the miscut. Oh, I feel like we're so close, but so far. Nice pull, though. Still like a top 20 card in the set, honestly. Still getting some really nice secret rares, but that is pretty nicely cut. Hey, I'm still happy. I'm still happy. Can I get this open? There we go. Okay, green and white code card. Come on. Let's just, let's just keep banging out the hits right now. Oh, another Jolteon V4. Okay, we'll take it. Code card out. Come on, just pile up the hits. This is where all the goodies are waiting. So where all the goodies are waiting. Glossiflar, love this. Fletchling, Eldegross. Man. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on. Apple turn. Oh, no. Scraggy. Talon Flame. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more booster packs. All right. It's going to be in any. It's got to be in these last ones. Flapple. It's so weird because when I was doing the live stream too, trying to complete the set, uh, you know, it was like we I'd have some days because we did it for like a week straight, I feel like. Like, ooh, what's that? Oh, we got more Gyarados. Regular Gyarados V. So I remember we, we'd have some days where we were just getting the miscut cards like pretty frequently and then there were some days where we weren't getting them i think it just depended on which case of bo booster boxes i opened up because they come case packed with six booster boxes in a, in a case so i think it was just like the luck of the draw on some of them that had those miscut cards in there so it was like really hard to try to figure out which ones had them and which ones didn't but once you saw one in there it was more than likely that you're going to find more in the same case of booster boxes i don't know i thought we had a chance here Still do, still do, you know. But yeah, we're almost there. Fun either way, opening these up. Got some really nice pulls out of that. The Rayquaza being definitely my favorite. Well, there were two Rayquazas. The one that I, was my favorite would be the V alternate artwork. Oh no. All right, this is about the end. I'm sorry, I, I really thought that we had a good chance at uh, pulling one of these things. Sorry if I uh, wasted you guys' time watching this video. Hopefully it was still fun to watch. But, well, hey, you know, last pack magic, right? Last pack magic. 
Psyduck, Swablu, Dot, Woobat, Eevee, Litleo. No, we couldn't do it. Okay, wait, wait. Actually, hold on a second. I had another bin next to there where there were like a whole bunch of mixed up packs. I think these ones have a pretty low chance at having it, but I wouldn't be able to sleep if I didn't try these ones too. So we got like 11 packs. I'm out of breath because I ran to go get them. And then I realized that this is not even a live video, so it doesn't really matter how long I take. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god! Are you serious? Oh my god! Are you actually kidding me right now? Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Dude! Dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just pulled the rarest Evolving Skies card ever made i i can't even like oh my god oh my god i don't even know what to say dude my heart is like oh my god i can't believe that just happened this is the number one card in the set and I have never pulled the miscut version of this. I think this might be the, like, this might be the number one miscut card that you could ever pull from a... I can't believe that just happened. Oh my god. God. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. Dude, and that is crazy, crazy miscut. Like, that is even more miscut than this card. Because if you look really closely on the bottom... Wait, let me take it out of the sleeve so you guys can see it better. It, look at that. You see on the bottom there? That is actually part of the next card. Like, the actual back where it will say Pokemon and show the Pokemon stuff. This one is really, really off, but it just barely doesn't get that on there. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just still shocked. I just can't believe I, I literally these. I was like, I was going to end the video. I was going to end the video because these packs were like in another bin mixed up with like a whole bunch of vivid chilling rain and stuff like that. And I just thought there was no shot that this was a part of like the miscut. It's so confusing. because I don't know what I do with the packs. I must have mixed some of them in there then from the opening. Oh my god, I'm just still shocked right now. I am in complete shock that we actually just pulled that. And I can't even tell you guys a value on this thing, but I mean, if you're talking about the number one card in the set, I mean, it's, it's either like the number one or number two card in the set as a miscut. Oh, what trainer is that? I think the only way we know what trainer card that would be is if somebody had like a picture of a, a, a full sheet of Evolving Skies, because I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell from that because there's no way to identify it i think there's five regular trainers so it's gotta be one of those five i am like i'm telling you guys i wasn't gonna open them like i just i thought there was a zero percent shot but that's that's literally why you just you, you never know you don't give up like oh my god i i really feel like that's probably one of the craziest pulls ever <sighs> i mean for revolving skies Whew, my heart is still just going. I can't believe that. I, I cannot believe that. Ooh, Trevenant V. Regular full art. Let's go. And by the way, I'm pretty sure that there's a bunch of packs from um, the miscut that are out there. Whether they're in Poke Rev packs, whether there are booster boxes that I've sold. If you've ever bought Evolving Skies from me and you have sealed packs, you might want to consider opening it if you haven't opened them up yet. Because there's a good chance. Oh my god, what? Dude, I almost didn't open these. See, look, then here's one. Oh my god, we got another alternate artwork. Wow. Dude, I'm still shaking right now. This is unbelievable. So this one is not the miscut. It's so wild. It is so wild. I'm sorry I keep going back to this, but I also want to mention that this is the first time I've ever pulled this card, by the way. Um, and to pull it like this is just insane. <laughs> really, we got to thank Amelia and Leo for wanting to open up those packs and, 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 and like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what would have happened. But yeah, 
Um, I'm so like my my brain is just going a mile a minute here, but yeah, if you've ever purchased Evolving Skies packs for me and they're still sealed, I'm just saying you might want to consider it, dude. What is happening, Rayquaza V now? Wait, have we almost got all the Rayquazas today? We yeah, we pulled all the secret rare Rayquaza, the V alternate artwork, the V Max alternate artwork, and the Rainbow. Then we just got the V. I think the only one left is the V full art. That's not a secret rare, just a regular uh, full art. Wait, no, and there's also just a regular V Max too. But I mean, we got the best three, <laughs> the best ones. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, here we go. Last pack. We actually did it, guys. I, I. I don't know. I think we literally pulled the rarest Evolving Skies card. I, that might be it. I, that might literally be it. Scraggy and a regular hollow hit. Thank you guys so much for sticking that out with me. That was insane. I'm so glad I opened up the rest of those packs. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button. Also, feel free to click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.